Hey everyone, Josh here from Wargaming Noob Historical, back with another Wargaming Noob Builds an Army. This time around, I am going with 156 scale uh, Warlord Games Bolt Action German Pioneers. So, um, I am a big bolt action fan, as you can tell from the videos on the channel. Uh, and I wanted to start a early to mid-war uh, German army build. However, I didn't want to go with the standard um, German armies like the Panzer Grenadiers, Fallschirmjäger, Waffen SS. I wanted to go with something a little bit different, and I wanted to go with something that had a cool factor to it. So I went with German Pioneers. Uh, I started off with this box set here, uh, unboxing uh, link up above, and um, it's an excellent way to even uh, build out a Blitzkrieg German army. Um, the only difference is in this particular kit you'll have metal components that are only included in this box kit which um, makes them a little bit more fluffy in terms of uh, how they're going to look like on the the battlefield because they're going to look totally different from your regular blitzkrieg germans so um right now this is pretty much all that i have for my pioneers army i'm going to continue this this uh army build as i add stuff and i want to talk about uh what i'm going to add next to make this more of a fluffy army uh, for bolt action. So um, you're going to see these on the screen. Uh, I'm going to add a uh, Flam Panzer wagon, which is basically a German half track that um, has flamethrowers. Um, it, I don't know if it's actually um, associated with the German pioneers, but it has that different and unique aesthetic that I wanted to put on the tabletop. Um, that is basically the rationale for the Pioneers Army. So um, that's going to be added. Um, unfortunately, in the at least in the reinforced um, infantry platoon selector, the Flampanzer wagon will be taken in the tank slot. So I won't be able to take a tank um, into game uh, because it takes that slot. So that's a bummer. But again, I wanted this to be a more unique and fluffy army. And... Um, the way that I'm going to play the Flampanzer wagon is to kind of um, get it up the field and take on uh, infantry because obviously flamethrowers are going to be devastating to infantry. Uh, to support the Flampanzer wagon and, and, and some of the German pioneers that will be moving forward to assault, I'm going to add uh, a half track into the uh, army build. And uh, I can take any half track, uh, but obviously I'm going to use something that I already have, and that's the SDKFZ 251. 10 with a 37 millimeter anti-tank uh, cannon so uh, those will be the main vehicles that i'll have in this army i know it's probably not going to stand up to a tank heavy army or but again the whole rationale behind this pioneer army is to be as fluffy and unique looking as possible and you know the german pioneers have quite a few interesting bits that allow it to be unique on the battlefield so uh, in the meantime, I'm going to show you what I do have uh, and, the, you know, I could go in a different direction and add a tank and uh, I'm going to show that off right now. So I recently did an unboxing of a German Panzer IV, uh, link up above, and um, because the Panzer IV was quite ubiquitous during the Eastern, um, Eastern Front, absolutely something that I can add to my German Pioneers to give them a little bit more punch. Again, might not stand toe to toe with some of the heavier tanks that the Soviets will field, but you know, again, this is a fluffy army. Although um, the, the the only thing is that I have the late war German camo on this Panzer IV. I think ideally it would have been, may have been um, just gray, but um, yeah. Anyway, uh, I'm probably going to use this in lieu of the Flam Panzer wagon until I can get that unique vehicle. So, you know, just so that I can go play. But I'm just gonna turn this around. I did put some decals on here. I'm not finished with this just yet. I'm gonna zoom in. I'm not finished with this vehicle just yet. Uh, as you can see, I've just painted it with the late war camo, but there are small details and stuff that I still need to paint as well as shade and highlight. But you know, that's it. The Panzer IV. All right, all right. I haven't finished building all of these guys up just yet. I still have quite a few, but I want to show off a little bit of the um, uniqueness of the German pioneers. And as you can see in this particular uh, assault squad, they pretty much are all armed with SMGs, which is uh, quite unique. 
to the German pioneers. Um, but as you can see, there's a ton of metal here and it does uh, give them quite a bit of a different look compared to the other uh, Blitzkrieg Germans. I'm just gonna turn a few of these so you guys can see. Um, they do have these packs with all of their equipment that they need. This one look, looks pretty cool, SMG guy. Um, I did use just the standard uh, soft cap for the NCO. The only metal bit, of course, is the pack, the engineer pack there. I, I did want to bring to attention one thing, and this is this engineer with a bandage on his head, but he has a Sturm Pistola which is basically a Panzerfaust pistol, which is um, kind of scary. Don't know how effective it was, but I think this will mesh well with the rest of the um, assault squad here, since I want to get them up close and shoot a lot, and then give them a little bit of punch with this one-shot weapon here. So um, let me bring up another guy again. Just using the main torso of the Blitzkrieg German and then getting it out with a bunch of metal parts. All right, so this is the first of my close assault squads for the German pioneers. Um, one thing to note is that while there are a ton of metal components in this box set, in this kit, it's not enough to kit everybody out um, in like the backpacks and stuff like that. So uh, just keep that in mind if you are interested in making German pioneers, uh, especially an army of German pioneers, then you know, you're know you gonna be limited with the amount of metal parts that you have. So, all right, I'm gonna come back with some more folks that I built. All right, so next up I have these two guys here. I have a flamethrower dude and a dude with a gas mask and um, a stick grenade that has a bunch of I don't know explosives on it I'm not quite sure what that particular stick grenade is called if you guys know go ahead and comment below um, I don't I, th I think as I deploy this um, I, I can either add it to the squad that I just showed you or I can treat this as a separate flamethrower uh, unit um, I don't know if that's correct Again, if that's not the case, let me know in the comments below. But I can treat this, um, these two guys as a flamethrower unit, or I can just add this guy to the squad, I think. I think that's how it works. Uh, I'm gonna have to look at the selectors, but you know, if that's the case, then you know, that just adds a little bit more fluff. But um, again, I think I might treat this more as a separate uh, unit uh, in the army build. So yeah, uh, let me bring this guy up. I love that he's wearing uh, this mask and goggles. And then there's the tank for the flamethrower. I gave him some kit right there. Um, but yeah, and then I'll bring this guy up. I just the World War One gas mask here is pretty cool. He is carrying just a standard rifle with a bayonet. There's that um, stick grenade, and of course the pioneer pack. So, all right, let's take a look at it, some other stuff. All right, next up is some more of these more specialized guys in the squad. Um, so right here is the Goliath and its operator. Then I have this wire cutter dude. And then this guy with uh, the PZB-39 anti-tank rifle. So um, I guess it was modified to become a grenade launcher uh, based on the fluff that came with the kit. So yeah, let me uh, bring some of these guys up. Here's the Goliath operator. It's a pretty cool looking guy. There's his pack. I didn't even know they had anything like this, but uh, you know, it doesn't surprise me that the Germans had a little, little robot thing. Here's the Goliath. And then here's the wire cutter dude. Does not look like he's having a good time doing this, but uh, you know, that is the risk of the job that they have. And then the guy with the anti-tank rifle. So, 
All right, Great. let's finish off this video with the last figures that I have assembled for this particular build. Again, I have not finished building all of the sprues up, but in terms of the metal uh, components for the Pioneers, I'm starting to get to the bottom end of that. Um, in the next uh, video in this series, I'm gonna show you what I had left over. But uh, yeah, so here we go. Um, this is my Lieutenant. Give him the peaked cap here. And then here's his bodyguard. Uh, and he does have the Pioneer pack there. So nothing special. Just a dude with binoculars signaling. I do like how detailed the figure is. And then the bodyguard, nothing special about this guy. He just has a rifle and the Pioneer pack. And then I did create another NCO for um, the next squad that I'll be building. He has the soft cap with a submachine gun and he's just signaling. Um, based on the way that he is posed, I could not put a uh, Pioneer pack on him. But you know, this still works out. Uh, it is built from the components of the Pioneer kit, so. All right. And there you have it. That is my uh, German Pioneer Army build. Again, um, in the next uh, video, I will be showing hopefully uh, the Flam Panzer Wagon um, that I'll be building specifically for this build. Um, there's also a Pioneer Wagon half track that has like uh, a bridging component to the half track so that bridge or go over rivers. I don't know if that's the right terminology. I'm sure you guys will let me know. But uh, that's another option that I can add uh, into the army build. But uh, as it stands, finish up building out this set, replace the Panzer IV with the Flam Panzer wagon once I get it, and then add the uh, 25110 half track. And that'll be my army build. It's pretty much just a uh, light force that will be engaging uh, my son's Soviets. Uh, I don't know how well it will do, but it'll definitely look good on the tabletop because it's not going to look like any other German army that I've fielded in any of the battle reports that we filmed. So it's going to be cool. And I guess the rule of cool will be the reason for this army. So, all right. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and click like. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, I'd appreciate it if you go ahead and subscribe. Hit that bell notification icon to get updated on all new videos coming out from the channel. And then uh, join our Discord, link in the description below. We'd love to chat with you about Bolt Action, Flames of War, and any other historical wargaming war games. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more wargaming noob builds an army.